ended with a man being shot and killed at a church service. And with gun violence continuing to rise in public places, some people are volunteering for gun training for extra security. New at 6, Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Zach Worthington looked into that for us today. He joins us now with that story. Zach? Yeah, Rod and Megan, as it turns out, more and more parishes in the area are offering gun training programs to add extra security at church services. A scary situation developed Sunday morning at a church in northwest Nebraska. Authorities say a sheriff's deputy fatally shot a man just inside the church doors at Immaculate Conception Catholic Church in Rushville. The 32-year-old man was suspected of an assault of another Rushville resident. Authorities say the deputy used deadly force to protect himself and others from potential harm. In Lincoln, a gun store owner says there's been a steady uptick in church volunteer groups coming to his gun range to train. We've worked with a number of uh, church groups uh, throughout Lincoln and some of the outlying areas um, to provide some training to their um, uh, volunteer security staff. Clark says his certified gun training instructors have held private sessions with over 20 volunteer groups from various parishes. It's not just a willy-nilly, hey, I want to carry a gun. Mm -hmm. People are looking to protect themselves and their organizations that they belong to. And they, they have thought long and hard about this. Clark says for the most part, these volunteers have military or law enforcement backgrounds. These volunteers must follow the same guidelines as everyone in the state seeking a concealed carry license. Most of them require uh, about three to six months of training before they're allowed to uh, operate as a volunteer security person. Clark says schools and churches have become targets for gun violence in part because very few or no people are armed there. He says these people are passionate about protecting themselves, others, and their communities. It's a tragic turn of events that we have to arm people to protect people when they go to worship, mm -hmm. but it's, it's the way that the world has turned. In order to pass the Nebraska Concealed Carry course, you have to go through an eight hour long class that ends with a written and shooting test. A person must pass both of those tests in addition to a criminal background check. If you're interested in learning more about Big Shots and their gun training program, head to our website at klknTV.com. All right, Zach Worthington, thank you.